government's going to do this which e- for which us. We all disagree with. See, this is what this is where we give an example where we come together as a fiscally conservative leftist. I totally hate that attitude that expects government to come in and rescue you. Like some big hand from the sky, let me save you. But you've had generations like, of well, that. Generations the, of exactly, people doing especially that. Especially with black folks who are right. still, some folks waiting on the have we have They're waiting on that wick check. Some folks They're waiting, waiting on, on a change. Ain't got enough sense right. coming out of the rain. Right. Stop standing there with your hand out. Could we please have another program? Could we please have a black TV show? Could we please? Could we please? Could we please? Could we please? This is the kind of mentality that is pervading today. There are leftist components to that. I just don't want to claim them because they're so naive about what they're expecting. They actually thought that they could come in and vote for Obama and it was going to change That's the true. nature and landscape and of this government. And, it, and they're shocked now it that it has well, not. It has part not. Had a, and this, is, this, is, this has to go, some of this has to go at the feet of President Obama. He ran, sure as, he ran as a populist that was going to change the culture in Washington, change how things did. He was going to say, no, he said, no more lobbyists. He said, we're going to cut away from this thing with the earmarks. When we put the stimulus package into place, it's going to create jobs. And it didn't do and that. We didn't even do it. didn't do that. No, it didn't do that. Earmarks no. came into play. Right. Lobbyists right. came right. right. And if you look Gave at the stimulus, all the money you look away. The, you look at the stimulus <laughs> and package. And then think about what we're going, how we're going to pay for that money. Right. Well, that the argument wasn't so much how we're going to pay for the money because it was we have to get out of this this recession. Right, right. Let's just. But then what transpired was what started getting seep what started seeping into these bills were studies on tadpoles, migration patterns, same old on money, on, on, on sand, that and said and, same and old stuff. Like, Carolina desert. Right. I mean those type of A lot things of pork that absolutely fat no going sense. in there. Both and sides. You can't say, and the problem is with Obama when it comes to this, you can't say you're going to change that. And then do Be the back. exact right, exactly, and that's what he has done Whereas today. Bush, I don't think there were the, no. This he is why was people, what he said. Pe- yeah, <laughs> people. You look at how um, G. W. Bush came into office. He came into office under controversial terms. Felt as though people, a lot of people, still to this day feel like he stole that election. He was a controversial candidate in two thousand four with a controversial war. I mean, even his response to nine eleven was controversial. So people weren't as morally. Or enthusiastically disappointed right. in George W. Right, Bush exactly. as they are in, in President right. Obama. He's going to have a backlash, lady. He's going to have a huge backlash. Back 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 it's not going to be he. It's going to be, be we. It's, it's not going to be a right. backlash. Right. It's going to be a black lash. That's, that's right. You're starting to see right. exactly throughout America. We're going to have an American yes. lash because you're going to have a lot of those independents yes. and libertarians who are not African Americans and women's group that support Obama. You know, we only have so much time yet. I want to answer the question of the chatters because the chatters in the chat room are just going away. And I want to thank you, family, for watching HipHopRepublican.tv. Continue to watch it. We're going to start live streaming from our own channel as we change and transcend on this show. But I we are live streaming. We are live streaming right now. But as if you when you watch this, when it's recorded, we are recording on Fridays. Fridays at 11:30 PST time, the Pacific Coast time. And we appreciate those who are here with us live, and those will be with us in the future. One thing that Danny talks about and continues to ask, which I'm going to ask you. Answers. We want answers. We want results. The family wants to know what is the answer. We know there's an issue. We know there's a backlash coming. We know that we are an unemployment in California right now. We're at 2.2 to 2.5 unemployment. We know the Obama administration right now in housing has implemented a short sale support base, meaning that if you owe more than what your house is worth, the Obama administration said to the people out there, he'll give you $1,500 if you short sale. If you walk away from your house, we'll give you $1,500. In the state of California, that's free gas money, people. So, you know, that that's not going to give you much. And then those who have a, a second on that first house, they're willing to give $1,000. Well, you know, that's what you get when you stand on the corner in the certain parts of California. Some of us know better than others. Anyway, so the question that I have to you, um, I'm going to ask you, what is the answer? But before you ask that, Danny and the family wants to add a little bit more um, yeah. in that. Just wanted to let you know that... Um, um, the GNN bureau chief is in the chat room, and he's that's the other McAllister. That's the other McAllister. Mac McAllister. Okay. No relation, but <laughs> no you know we Larry think they could be. We the shake same. those family, that family tree. <laughs> exactly. Same. He says that you know he wanted to comment on what you said prior to your last statement. Um, he said if you're on the bottom of the food chain, um, you get nothing. Makes no difference what party you belong to. And um, Leslie in the chat room says exactly, Mac. You know, so that's, you know, they said that, oh, also to Leslie is saying that the progressive G, uh, progressive GOP is no longer there. So 
they're saying that what they knew about the GOP party from past was something much more um, palatable to them or understanding. They understood it a little bit more. They came to the table with things, what they agreed or didn't agree, but they understood it there, there is what they're saying. They're just saying, what is it that it's going to take for them uh, to to understand well, let, the, let part, the different that. parties that are putting something on the table right. that we they just don't understand. Lenny, what do you let me address that. that. Number one, let me, sure. let me thank them both for being in the yeah. chat room. I thank everybody that has been there. I appreciate their comments, and I welcome the, the debate back and forth. Number one, he's absolutely correct, and the, both of them are, that you do, at the bottom of the totem pole, if you have a hierarchical structure where government is its own self-serving and bureaucratic entity, you're not going to see the folks at the bottom get anything other than crumbs. That's why we have to move back to a, a representative Republican, small r, small r, form of government where people are representative so that are represented so that the best for all people are not are represented, not just the majority rule. So, with that said, that's why it's so important. For people to understand that when we talk about smaller government, bigger people, like I say in the book and I say in my speeches, we're talking about paring down government so that people have an opportunity to have a bigger role in their day-to-day -day lives, not just from an economic point of view, but from a feedback point of view with their government, from a from a from an organic point of view on how their communities are going to evolve and become better. So that's number one. Number two, you mentioned the progressive GOP not being evident anymore. I would dare say that it is evident it is now called hip hop republicanism. Yes. Woo -hoo! Yeah, that's, that's it right. is, it is. It is younger, it is more tuned to the urban agenda, it is a, it is willing to connect to all different types of folks across the country. I mean, I've spoken to people on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I've spoken to folks in Boston, Massachusetts before Scott Brown won. That was last December. I've had an opportunity to speak in Atlanta, Georgia. I've spoken to folks in rural areas, and I've spoken in some of the biggest cities in the United States. It's And it takes that level of love for people. And that's regardless of what political affiliation you have. You have to love America enough to dialogue with America. You have to be courageous enough to believe in your convictions enough to have debates respectfully, honorably, but lovingly in order to get past these solutions to talk about, okay, we have common goals. How do we get there? And then you bring the facts and you bring in history. That's correct. To Which show why you have to take the right, right approaches to bring about the solutions we need in the 21st century. I agree with that. Now, let me add that from the leftist and, and out there radical standpoint, I totally embrace this. What I what happens is, and I want everybody to understand, this is the way I see it too, especially those of us who are old like myself and somewhat jaded and burnt out from fighting these battles. Burn out. I mean, for 30 some years. No, no, no. No, no. Lenny McAllister, Lenny McAllister represents the young, youthful approach who's going to attempt to reform from within and for that we admire them the That's democratic right. party needs the exact same thing you have to go you guys those of you who believe and i'm not a believer in your system the two-party system but i say i strongly support but you live in the what, party but remember that you live remember in that i'm strong it's part of what you are to say that it's, 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 now remember what happens is we all are talking about the same revolution some of us are fighting it differently Lenny has the courage and the conviction to work from within yes, the system does. toward change. We he must does. always support the people who are doing this, even those of us who are radical and mad and angry who are out who are outside the system. But Lenny's By also choice. mad because he says he's a choice. diary no, no. of a mad black. But we have to recognize that Lenny P. represents P. the people who still believe in the ways that I still admire. In the American principle, so we have to embrace and support Shirley and Lenny with their enterprise to help reform, and they can take back aspects of that Republican Party. If we could just get that happening in the Democratic Party, also, it would be moving all of us forward. That's why I say as the radical leftist, fiscally conservative radical, I totally embrace what Shirley does, what Lenny does. It's just that you have, a, uh, you have an area of belief to work within the system that I'm lacking at this point. But I totally support your efforts and admire your conviction to go about that. I applaud that. Woo! Not to mention, Shirley, you brought oh. some really interesting guests. <laughs>